sea and sky. I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. Welcome, everyone, to Our Lady of the Assumption Parish as we come together to celebrate the 29th week in our Sunday of Ordinary Time. And as we together we gather around the table of the Lord, let us begin our prayer today, blessing ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather together as a family of God, we come to answer the call of the Lord and to be strengthened by him through this feast that we receive on the Eucharistic table. And so gathered together under the love of God, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by acknowledging our sins and asking the Lord for his mercy and his forgiveness. And so together we say, I confess, confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, and to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me to the Lord, Lord our God. Our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Father. 
let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by your name giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. is one trustee. gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give to the Lord, you families of nations, give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory to his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Give the Lord glory and honor. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. nations the Lord is king he governs the peoples with equity give the Lord glory and A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of Thessalonians. In God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, 
remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling you to mind your work of faith and labor of love, and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ, before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not. Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin, and he said to them, Whose image is this, and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that Jesus said to them, then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Sunday's readings are all about truth. We heard in the gospel that those who were actually trying to entrap Jesus buttered him up by saying, we know you're a man of truth. Nothing could be more true. But these readings are more than truth. It's the hope that's at the heart of this truth. You see, if we live in the truth, that Jesus truly is, our lives are full. Our lives are fulfilled. Here's the truth as it plays out in our own lives. The truth is this, we hear it in, in the readings, that God is one, and we know that God is goodness and love. And we hear also that we are inscribed, imprinted, we are created in the image and likeness 
of this goodness and this love which is our God. This is also the truth. We heard this in the second reading, Paul's letters to the Thessalonians. We're chosen. We're chosen for a divine purpose. All of us together have the common purpose of sharing this truth with others by the way we live our lives. But each of us also is given a unique purpose based on the gifts that God has given to us in our life. Perfect example of that would be the life of the artist Vincent van Gogh. You see, for Vincent van Gogh, hope was at the heart of all of his painting. And if you study Van Gogh, it's the color yellow mainly that he uses to portray hope. So when you look at paintings from this author, look at the color yellow and how it's used. I'll give you two examples. At a particularly difficult time in his life when he was fighting through depression, that's when he painted perhaps one of his most famous paintings, The Starry Night. And you see in that beautiful yellow sun and the dazzling, twirling yellow stars. But what do you see in the heart of that painting is a silhouette of a church, entirely dark, no yellow. You see, at that point in his life, he was struggling to still hold on to the truth that there was goodness and love in his life. And the only place he could find it, tragically, it wasn't in the church, but it was in God's creation. Fast forward and look at another painting that he painted later in his life, The Raising of Lazarus. The entire painting is bathed in yellow hues. And the face of Lazarus, the artist painted his own face. If you know the story of his life, he made it through that period of depression. And he came to understand the power of God's love alive in the world and in himself. And he identified with the person of Lazarus that it was Jesus who helped him understand this truth and raised him up. And it was that experience that helped him understand his purpose in the world. It was to use his gift, his art, to help communicate to people beyond words the power of this hope in the real truth of our lives, which is the love that God has for us. As I said before, when we live in this truth, we are fulfilled. Better yet, our lives are balanced. And we don't have to worry about whether it's situations or people themselves that are trying to trip us up. We know what's right. We know how to live our lives. We know what to do in this world, what's our responsibility and what's not. We know what to give to this world, what is the world's. Because, first and foremost, we give to God what is God's. And that is each and every human being stamped with that divine image, with that divine spark alive within them. We can only do this when we believe that truth for ourselves. Then we begin to look for and honor, respect, protect that life, that dignity, that value in every human being. That's what this whole month in the church's calendar is about, reminding us how important that purpose is, that mission is that we all share. When we're well-grounded in that, we, like the artist Van Gogh, discover our own unique purpose the gifts that God has given to us in our lives, and the way that we need to use it to help others connect with and understand and believe the truth of the power of God's love at work in the world and in our lives. Then each day, we grow in more humble awareness of how much God loves us. God loves every human being. And then we too imitate Christ in convincing others of this truth.
Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, maker maker of heaven and earth, of all things things visible and invisible. invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Jesus Christ, the the only begotten begotten Son of God, God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, God, light from light, light, true God from true God, God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We offer our prayers to the one in whose image we are made and whose law is inscribed in our hearts. We pray that all clergy may be strengthened and edified by the prayers of the church throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all leaders of nations may lead those they govern in the values to be faithful to, go, to, to what God asks of them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all members of the church may responsibly fulfill both civic and religious obligations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And on this Mission Sunday, we pray for all those who work in domestic and foreign missions, that they be strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit as they convince others of the truth of the power of God's love in the world and in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are sick may receive the Lord's healing touch, especially Father George Reynolds, Ruth Olive, May Rutz, and Bob Holgren. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of all those who have died, especially Carolyn DeVore, Kim Penny, Patrick Sanchez, Marie Abado, Emiliano Vasquez, Barbara Hudoba, Joanna Turner, and baby Jose Vasquez. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of Daryl Franzel, Maureen Heffelfinger, and the Van Thine family. For all the intentions of the parishioners of our parish family and the repose of the souls of Benigno M. Mungai, Emilio Sixto Castro, and Fortunato Villa, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for those intentions now which we share with our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, you are sovereign over all realms. As we strive to be images of your divine Son, may your kingdom be more firmly established among us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And as we have heard and reflected on the word of God, and as we seek to put our faith into action, a couple of announcements for this weekend. This weekend is World Mission Sunday, and we are taking a second collection up in our church to benefit all the missionaries throughout the world. We ask for your generous donations in any way that you can, making them out particularly to our World Mission Sunday collection as we continue to support the works and the ministry of of all of our missionary brothers and sisters throughout the world. In a desire to support the two Respect Life ministries, we are supporting through our Respect Life fundraiser, Tender Life, and the Life Centers of Ventura County, we have initiated a new text-to-give program. 
This is a new opportunity for us to donate through our smartphones, through our texting app. We have a video online on our parish website detailing the information of how you can text to give your donations to our fundraiser, as well as to make your Sunday offering. So I invite you, please check out our website and the video that is available to learn how to text to give your donations. And we thank you in advance for your generous donations. This year, in light of the unique circumstances that we are undergoing, we will be merging our celebrations of All Saints Day and All Souls Day to the weekend masses of October 31st and November 1st. At our Sunday liturgies, we will commemorate all the faithful departed, especially those that we have lost during this past year. Instead of our usual practice of having a table of remembrance, we are inviting everyone to bring pictures of your loved ones to our Sunday Masses that weekend so that they may be blessed instead. And finally, as always, we'd like to continue to thank you in advance for your generosity, for your prayers, for your support, and especially your financial contributions to our parish. May we continue to support each other in the love and the hope that God affords us every day. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory, that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ 
by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread And drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of the Assumption, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, which is served in Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you that should, should enter, enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Eucharist. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me from being separated from you. Amen.
ransom is my blood. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to share with others the truth of God's love. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.